Hi, I'm Sarah Alexander, Director of Education with Clinical Care Skin Solutions. So I'm sure we've all been there before. Really important event. It's a wedding. It's a hot date. It's a job interview. And rather than focusing on the glory of the moment, we're focusing on how do I cover the zit that I just got last night. So zits are frustrating because they pop up when we're stressed, they pop up when we're not taking care of our skin, they pop up when everything's good and we're wondering, what am I doing wrong? Why do I have a zit? So when you get that zit, immediately reach for your Destroy Zit. Destroy Zit is going to be your instant zit zapper. It's a spot treatment that is designed to help to heal those zits, help to camouflage those zits, and get your skin blemish free in no time. The destroys it, it has camphor, sulfur, and zinc. Those are three powerful ingredients that are going to help minimize all of the pain that goes along with acne. So the sulfur is going to help to reduce that oil gland activity. So it's going to reduce that oiliness. It's going to help to speed up the healing of that zit. And it's also going to help to dissolve that top layer of dead skin. The reason why that is important is because if you can envision your zit there, you have that top layer of skin, it's red, it's scaly, it's inflamed, and we want to make sure that we can gently slough that skin off so that you don't have that dark spot that's left behind after the blemish. So your zinc oxide is going to go to work to help to heal and soothe that zit, and camphor is going to help to minimize the discomfort. So if you've ever had those really painful zits and they're sore to the touch, the camphor is going to help to relieve and give you some comfort with that skin and also provide antiseptic um, benefits to the skin. So let's get to the good stuff. Destroys it is in a two phase product. So you have a little bit of a thicker product down here, which is a lot of the camouflaging ingredients, and you have more of a liquid product on top. I like to keep my product um, like this. I, I don't like to shake it. Um, because when I apply the Destroy Zit, what I do is I use my Q-tip and I go all the way down to the very bottom of the, the container. I go up and I lightly shake that off. So I've done it both ways. I've shaken the product and I've kept it um, still like this. And I find for me personally that as long as I go all the way down to the very bottom, and all the way up to the top, I get both components. And so my product, um, as I use it, um, is, how do I wanna say this? It's used up efficiently. So if you're just lightly dabbing that Q-tip into the top layer of the product, you're going to use all that medicine and what's going to happen is you're going to end up with a jar that is kind of dried out. So make sure that whether you're shaking it vigorously or you're using your Q-tip to go all the way down to the bottom and up, that you're getting an equal amount of both components. So I have a little bit of um, product on my Q-tip. I like to use Q-tips so that I'm not contaminating the product. I'll gently pat that on wherever the blemish is. The good thing about Destroy Zit is you can use it underneath your makeup on clean skin or you can use it on top of your makeup. I've got foundation, powder, you name it on. So as you can see, this is going to blend perfectly into my foundation. So it's not like I have a big uh, beige spot on my skin. So when you're fighting blemishes, it's a good idea to cleanse your skin, apply the destroys it on clean skin, blot that in, let that dry, apply your foundation. If you need more product, go ahead and apply more product. Make sure that when you're finished with your application that you tightly seal that cap on the product. It's a fantastic product, but it's a little bit delicate, so make sure that you lock that cap in place so that your product doesn't dry out. If it does start to dry out a little bit, uh, add a little bit of water, it will reactivate that product and it will be good as new. So if you're getting